Welcome. We are now going to see how we are going to add permissions to a share. We have here in the middle a share which is defined on our server SV1, which is entitled Vision 6D. This share exists and for the moment we want to give the user some rights on accessing some part of that share. We have defined different groups Team 1, which is here, Team 2, Managers, R&D, and uh, share a group called Project M for the Project M and the admins. On our computers, what we want to give to people from Team 1, it's a folder that they can access through the network where just people which are member of the group Team 1 can access. We want to do the same for Team 2. It's to have a folder which is called Team 2 and where just the members of Team 2 can access. So how can we do that? While I log into the system as an administrator, I have access here to the share and we see that I have created two directories, Team 1 and Team 2. I have defined and created those directories with no specific access rights. So we are going to see now what a user from Team 1 can do. I have logged here on my client and I have access to the share Vision 6D and I see the two folders Team 1 and Team 2. I'm currently user 1. So as user 1, I can access to the content of Team 1 and I can here also create a new folder called test01. This is right for the moment. I will see what happens if I intend to access to team2. I could access and I can also create a folder called test01. So of course this is not what we want. And what does it mean? What does it mean for the moment we are going to look at the properties on this folder at the security level and what do we see? We see currently here that the system, the administrators have access rights on that folder and we see here also that users any users of SV1 has access to the folder. Now I have to switch back to the server and there I will go directly into the properties of the Team1 folder. Security and I will scroll down to users which I want to simply remove. Remove as you can see, we cannot simply remove them. We are locked due to inheritance that we inherit from the upper folder, which is Vision 6D. So we were blocked by inheritance. So let's have a look at what is exactly inheritance. For that, I have to go to the root folder. And as you remember, we've created that shared folder called Vision 6D. So we are going to look the rights that has actually that folder. Properties, security. And it's here that it is interesting. It's that it is this folders that defines users on SV1, the group users. We could now simply remove the users at that level, but this is not my choice. I want to go back now to the team one and it's on team one that I will disable inheritance. So as it was said, it's not direct. So I need to remove inheriting for this uh, folder. And I will here disable inheritance. When you are blocking inheritance, it is requesting whether permission into explicit permissions on this object remove all inherited permissions from this object. I will convert inherited permissions into explicit permissions. 
So I will change the permission on the folder team one. And I will also add now the access right for the group team one. Team one. Okay. And I will give them the right to read, execute, and modify. We'll do the same for team two. We disable inheritance, replace with child, conclude by saying OK. And now we will edit and remove users. And we'll add team two. which we give also some possibility to modify. So now we apply, let's say OK, OK. Can I go within team one? It's fine, I can. Team two, I can, because I'm the sysadmin. Now we are going back to the client, where I'm still logged in as user one. So whenever there are permission changes, don't forget to ask the user to log on and log off. So this is what I will do now. And now I log back. The share vision 6D. What can I do on team two? Okay, it's telling me that I can't access. So the change is there team two since I'm a member of team one and team one you see I can enter so I'm going to create a new folder which I call test01 so with this we see that the user member of the team one can just access the part and the folder called team one and cannot access the folder called team two this is exactly what we wanted so I think with that, you've seen the principles on how folder permissions and rights are set. And I think that now you can go on your own and perform your own configuration. So I wish you a good time. If you like the video, you can subscribe to my channel. So have a good time. See you soon. Bye.